In this video, we will be discussing about the hedgehog signaling pathway in Drosophila. This signaling pathway plays a part during developmental stages. And in Drosophila, the hedgehog protein is a product of segment polarity genes. So it's involved in the body plan of Drosophila. In this pathway, we have hedgehog protein that drives the pathway. It's called hedgehog because if the mutation occurs in the hedgehog gene of Drosophila, the Drosophila grows spines like structures as shown in the diagram that resembles the hedgehog. Now let's get straight to the pathway. We have the plasma membrane on which the patched receptor protein is embedded. It is a 12 transmembrane protein that receives the hedgehog protein and imparts the signal. And on the inner side of cell, we have a vesicle in the cytoplasm, which too has another regulatory protein in its membrane called the smoothened protein, SMO protein. Moreover, we have nucleus in which DNA has got target genes for hedgehog signaling. And then we have microtubules present in the cell to which COS2 protein is attached. And then this COS2 protein binds multiple proteins like FU protein, CI protein, SUFU protein and kinases like CK1, PKA and GSK3. All these proteins form a complex that remain bound to the microtubules by the help of COS2 protein. Now when the hedgehog signal is not present due to mutation, means the hedgehog does not bind to the patched receptor on the cell. The absence of hedgehog causes the patched protein to send the inhibitory signal towards the vesicle, where smoothened protein SMO gets inhibited. The SMO protein is degraded in the absence of hedgehog signal. After that, the three kinases CK1 kinase, PKA and GSK3 phosphorylate the CI protein. Then we see the phosphorylation of CI protein marks the CI protein for proteolytic cleavage. The protein called the SLIMB or slime protein of SCF complex binds to the CI protein and mediates the proteolytic cleavage of CI protein. From this cleavage we get the CI75 protein. And this CI75 protein is also called the CIR or CI repressor which then gets into the nucleus where it targets the DNA and acts as a transcription repressor for hedgehog signaling genes. If we see the CI protein, it's first phosphorylated and then gets into the proteolytic cleavage. The CI protein is 155 kilodalton protein, but when it's cleaved, we get the 75 kilodalton protein that's called CI75, which acts as a transcriptional repressor. Now let's get to the positive signaling of hedgehog pathway. On the right, we can see the same cell having same components arranged in same order. The difference is only here the presence of hedgehog. Here we see the hedgehog binds to the patch receptor outside of the cell and mediates the degradation of patch receptor. So now the patch protein is no more. That means smoothness, that is SMO protein will not be degraded. So the smoothness protein from vesicle gets to the plasma membrane through vesicle fusion. And when the smoothness protein is embedded into the membrane, it's first acted upon by kinases like PK1 and CK1. These kinases phosphorylate the C-terminal domain of smoothness protein, as shown in the diagram. The kinase complex also phosphorylates the COS2 and FU protein. Now the phosphorylated smoothness protein recruits COS2 protein and FU protein towards itself. And these events lead to the disassociation of COS2 CI complex. So from here, the CI protein gets off from the SUFU inhibitory protein and moves towards the nucleus, as shown in the diagram. This non-cleaved CI protein, that CI155 protein, gets to the nucleus and combines with CBP protein there and then targets the same hedgehog signaling genes, where it acts as a transcription activator. So this leads to the activation of hedgehog signaling genes in the cell. So this is all about hedgehog signaling pathway in Drosophila. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.